You're watching 5 News with Ashley Beck, Mitch Roberts, and weather with meteorologist Jason Adams. It's the area's most watched local news, 5 News. Plus, I'm taking you on another Keep It Local trip. This time we're off to Bentonville to see a new rock formation called The Place Where They Cried. Find out what it's meant to represent when we come back. I'm going to also take you on another Keep It Local trip, this time off to Bentonville to see a rock formation called The Place Where They Cried. Find out what it's meant to represent when we come back. And then it's time for another Keep It Local story. This one uses art to hammer home a significant part of Arkansas and American history. This time I'm taking you off to Bentonville to show you a new exhibit which denotes the struggle of the Cherokee Indians along the Trail of Tears. Near the site of the new Crystal Bridges Art Museum stands a new exhibit which is meant to represent the Trail of Tears. The work designed by Pat Music wanted each rock to represent a Cherokee Indian, forced into a grueling march towards the Oklahoma Territory in 1838 and 1839. And the title of this piece is The Place Where They Cried, which is uh, the name that the Cherokee uh, Indians gave to uh, the experience. The stones are made from native Arkansas sandstone found in the Boston Mountains. Pat's vision was to denote strength, endurance, and a heavy burden, the kind of pain that can cut like a knife. Yes, a, a kind of sharp and jagged experience. Um, they suffered, um, I'm, I'm sure, just untold travail. Pat found the perfect site not far from where the Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art will stand. But this is more about Native Americans, the lives lost, and the rock-solid will of the Indians to survive, no matter what the circumstances. Seventeen groups of at least a thousand Indians started off on the Trail of Tears. Many did not make it, with death coming in all shapes and sizes. I think of them as human beings. Uh, the five-footers are meant to represent uh, males. Uh, the uh, four-footers are the mothers. The three-footers are the teenagers, um, if they had them in those days. And the two-footers are the young children. Some of them, this one looks like he's uh, steering off the path a bit, a bit, and the mother behind him is going to have to uh, rein him in. Pat spent most of her adult life in Madison County near Kings River, and she would often think about the pain that the Cherokees must have felt on the Trail of Tears. She's hoping that you'll reflect on the very same thing when you see the place where they cried. Mitch Roberts, 5 News. Another interesting thing to note about that, the rock formation leads right up to a creek and then crosses the water over to the other side. Pat felt that was important and an element of the exhibit she wanted to portray. It's because of many of the deaths along the Trail of Tears came while the Indians were trying to cross waterways and didn't make it to the other side. That's a great Keep It Local story, Mitch. It really is an interesting thing, and it's not far from the Crystal Bridges Museum, so when that's finally open, you can walk right down the path and check it out. All right, sounds like a plan then.